What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022, maybe 2023 edition. We shall see. Alrighty, so in our last episode, we have defeated Claire, but as, you know, as expected, she does not want to confirm the badge to us, so we have to go to the Dragon's Den. So, before you go to the Dragon's Den, there are two things that you need to do. Make sure to have a Pokemon that has both Surf and Whirlpool, and make sure to leave a space in your team because you probably don't want to go back and forth in this place right here. That's exactly what we did, and before we do anything, I do not want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here, so yeah, let's move on, find our place, and the Dragon Den is going to be right here. Dragon Den's ahead. Talk to this guy, he's like, if Claire allows it, her grandfather, our master, will also. You may enter. Okay. And, well, you gotta love the song right here. And, oh, crap, baskets. You! How dare you in enter uninvited? Yeah, we were kind of invited, kind of forced to come in here. And, well, here we go, going up against cool trainer Darren. He will be having Dragon-type Pokemon. So, just be aware of that. And, well, here we have Sweet Boom. So, a little explanation on why we have Sweet Moon right here, and it, it is because, well, it does have the Whirlpool technique. I will actually delete that Whirlpool afterward, but I just kind of want to see what Sweet Moon can do. And, uh, well, there's that Dragon Rage that keeps on hitting us. Let's go, le let's go with Le Bubbly Beam, and it, it, it's boost and all that stuff, and oh, look at that, okay, so that's not very effective, but yet it still beats you. Yet. Dragonair is still using Dragon Rage. It's still a very powerful attack. And let's go with another Bubbly Boom. There we go. We're taking advantage of the Rain Dance, guys. And nearly beats us, or nearly beats him. And here comes another Dragon Rage. Yeah, we're going to be back down to the same level when we beat this guy. So let's go ahead, Bubbly Beam, for the win. Yes. Again, that's just being strategic. You know, Rain Dance boosts up the water water attack, and Sweet Boom gets some points right there. And look at that, Lucky grows to level 38. Okay. Strong! Yeah, I got Sweet Boom right here on my team. The Shrine Ahead is home to the Master of Arc Dragon User Clan. You're not allowed to just go in. Yeah, you can go suck it. Okay, so a few things that you guys have to keep in mind. There are some items here. So be aware of that. You can actually fish for Dragon-type Pokemon right here, but I would refrain from doing that because, well, there is a something up ahead that you probably would want to get instead of just, like, looking around for the usual Dragon-type Pokemon. If you guys don't know, yes, you can actually get a free Dratini from the Dragon Master once you complete the test. That Pokemon will actually have a special move that... It doesn't normally know if unless you'd like, I guess, uh, what was it called? Um, unless you learn it from something else. I don't think there's a move learner or anything like that. But if you guys want to capture a dragon or Dratini or D a Dr Dragonair, you can. They're just going to be a little bit, they're going to be up in those levels. And as you guys can see, here is the shrine. And a shrine honoring the dragon Pokemon is said to have lived in this dragon's den. There's really nothing right here except for, you know, just, you can train right here. This, and then if you move around, you'll actually start seeing that a lot of these things are blocked off. So you have to really, really, really know where you're going right here. And, well, let's go right here. Bring it. You shouldn't be in here. Says who? Says your mama. Okay. So here we go, taking on Kara, and she will be coming up with a, a horsey, and well, let's get it, Lucky. How's it going? My name's uh, this guy, and well, since we don't have, uh, what was it called, Fluffolt on the team, we're going to be switching it out to Chico right here. Now, I did switch out a few Pokemon, just for this occasion right here, it's uh, nothing too big, guys. Just doing what we're doing, and well, let's go with a Razor Leaf attack. Yes, we did not miss. And there you go. Horsey has been defeated. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. And, well, 
Let's see. Cool trainer Kara is about to use a Seedra. Let's continue on right here. Alrighty. How's it going? Name Seedra. And, well, let's go with the Razor Leaf attack right here. And there you go. Seedra has been defeated. Look at that. Okay. And, well, let's see. What else is there? Oh, yeah. Another horsey. So let's continue on right here on the onslaught of defeating these Pokemon. And, well, let's go. Straight for a Razor Leaf attack. And that is how you do it. Say goodbye to Horsey. Alrighty, okay. So that is that right there. Those weren't necessarily Dragon-type Pokemon, but you guys get, you dip. Get, get the difference and all that stuff. And I think we got one more trainer, probably. And before we go down, let's grab this. We found ourselves a Max Elixir. And... Battle this girl. Who are you? I am your Faja. Not really. Thankfully, I don't have kids yet, but... Here we go. Taking on Leah and Pia. And she... They are coming out with a Dratini. Remember, this is not a double battle. It doesn't exist until the next generation. Let's go with a nice punch right here. And... Lucky. You... Coming into your own right there. Lucky does the trick. And bam. Okay. Alrighty. And well, Pia, Leah and Pia coming out with another Dratini. Go right there. Let's go. Twister attack. Holy bejeebus. And uh, yes, this move right here is a little, a little fun to actually to take on right here. And well, let's go with an ice punch. There we go. And Dratini has been defeated. Yes. Okay. Leah, Pia, defeated. And bam. Okay, so that is that. Let's go right ahead and swim over here. Now, as you can, uh, as you guys can see, there is a whirlpool. This is where the whirlpool technique uh, takes place. So just go ahead and press that. And whirlpool is no more. And, well, look at this. We are finally here in this shrine, but before we do anything right there, let's go right ahead and do this. There are, like I said, there are some items right here that you can actually find. I, nope, hold on. There might be an item right here, or this is just a fishing spot. Hey, yeah, it's probably a fishing spot. Like I said, guys, you can find Dratini Dragonair right here. And the repel has worn off, so yeah, don't want none of that. Let's see, a super repel. There we go. And bring it over here. And right here you'll find a Dragon Fang. Definitely something that you can use for a Dragon-type Pokemon to boost up its attack. And so, let's go ahead and Surf. And, well, the final thing we need to do here is go into the den. Now, here's some, here's some fun facts, guys. In Pokemon Gold and Silver, the shrine right here is just... Yeah. It's closed off. It made no sense why they would have that there. The mission for you, if you defeated Claire, was to go find the Dragon Fang. And that's it. That's how you became worthy of her badge. Which is kind of lame. But going into Pokemon Crystal, they actually made it a little bit better by just going in here and actually going through a test. And as you guys can see, holy bejeebus, this is looking pretty nice right here. Hmm. Good to see you here. Now I need to explain why you came. Claire sent you here, didn't she? That girl is a handful. I am sorry, but I must test you. Not to worry, you are or you are only you are to answer only a few questions. Ready? What are Pokemon to you? Pal, underling, or friend? Let's go with friend. Oh, I understand. What helps you with what helps you to win battles? Strategy, raising, or cheating. Well, if you're not cheating, you're not trying, uh, right? Eddie Guerrero. Let's go with uh, let's go with raising. Oh, I understand. What kind of trainer do you wish to battle? Anybody. Oh, I understand. You understand everything. Uh, yeah. What is the most important for you for raising Pokemon? And well, let's go with love because love conquers all, right? Strong Pokemon or weak Pokemon? Which is more important? Both. Hmm. I see. You care deeply for Pokemon. Very commendable. That conviction is what is important. Draven, don't lose that belief. 
it will see you through at the Pokemon League. And here is Claire, and she's like, <laughs> so how did it go? Guess there's no point in asking. You did fail. Dot, dot, dot. Flipping you off. What? You passed? Taking it back. That can't be! <laughs> nope, not lying. Even I haven't been approved. Really? Wow, you are a crappy individual. Claire, this child is impeccable in skill and spirit. Admit defeat and confer the rising badge. Or must I inform Lance of this? <laughs> That's right. Give me the badge. I, I understand. Here, this is the rising badge. Hurry up and take it. That's right, throwing out the B sign. Suck it, Claire. The rising badge will enable your Pokemon to use the the move climbing uh, waterfalls. Also, all Pokemon will recognize you as a trainer and obey your every command without question. Yes, sir, throwing out that P sign. Claire, reflect upon what it is that you lack and this child has. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Suck it, Claire. Okay, come again if you so desire. Okay, so I don't remember correctly. Wait! Uh, okay, there she is. I'm sorry about this. Here, take this as an apology. And we got ourselves the TM24. Yes, the TM24, and that happens to be Dragon Breath. No, it doesn't have anything to do with my breath. If you don't want it, you don't have to take it, take it. What's the matter? Aren't you going to the Pokemon League? You do know how to get there. From here, go to Newbark Town, then surf east to the Pokemon League. The route there is very tough. Don't you dare lose at the Pokemon League. If you do, I'll feel even worse about losing to you. Give it everything you've got. Well, she, she, she digs me. She wants me. Okay, so let's see. Um, I wonder what happens right here. So if you go back in here, let's see. Talk to him. Good to see you here. Your arrival is most fortunate. If you, I have something for you. Take this Dratini as proof that I have recognized your worth. And bam, this is the reason why you need to have a space in your in your in your team because you will be getting a Dratini. And yes, I'm going to be naming this Pokemon something pretty cool. Ladies and gentlemen, I bequeath the name Drago. Wait, did we know? No, actually, Drago is a is that Pokemon's name. Hmm. Drago. You know, we're going to have to put a pin on that. Dratini, you are awesome. We're just going to name you Nick Dratini. Dragon Pokemon are symbolic of our clan. You have shown that you can be interested with one. Yes. Alrighty, okay. I feel, feel like I won like three times already. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out this Pokemon right here. So as you guys can see, we got a, le a level 15 Dratini. This Pokemon is very special because it does have one move that you probably d won't be able to get on other Dratinis, and that is Extreme Speed. It's like it says, it's extreme and it's, it, there's some speed in there. And yeah, it does have Twister, and it had, does have some pretty good moves. I really wish I could use this Pokemon as part of my team, but that is probably not going to happen because, well... I got something else in mind, and I'm probably going to surprise you guys, or not really surprise you, but it's probably going to happen in the next episode, because, uh, yeah, I think we've uh, done, I've done everything. Okay, so here we are coming outside, and bam, once you step outside the Dragon's Den, you will be getting a phone call from Professor Elm. Hello, Draven. I have something here for you. Could you swing by the lab? See you later. Of course, we could just fly there, right there and then. But we're gonna take the long way because we got things to uh, take care of. Anywho, guys, we got one more trade. Yes, we got one more trade, and it's going to happen in the next episode. Oh, I can't wait because, uh, well, after this trade, there will be quite a few uh, things that will be yeah included in this game right here but we do have one more trade just one one little trade I hope you guys are ready for this 
Thank you guys again for watching this episode. Thank you guys for being as supportive as can be. Yes, look at this. That's right, we got eight badges in all. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. You do not want to miss this next one. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, links in the description right there below. If you guys want to, you know, donate directly, there's the heart button. I would go to the heart button. And if you guys want to watch some exclusive videos right here, you know, some, uh, what was it, hat games, Pokemon Silver, maybe, I don't know, membership videos, yes, go ahead, go in straight to my channel, press that button, bam, you will be a member and watch these exclusive videos. Thank you guys again for watching, I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, see you guys.